Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here it is hot, very, very dry. This tree is a cork tree. Trees look much, the leaves look much greener than the holm oak. The jara, the cystus, is just in the paused state, waiting for the rain. And uh, we have been busy over the hot season. And it was all about erosion control and getting water to slow down, to seep into the earth so that we can be better prepared for the next hot season. On this land we have rainfall and we have two culverts bringing water. This is the main culvert in the creek The water can come through here at a tremendous speed. It can come up to these barbed wires. So, the very first weir we have is my cement concrete construction. And also then a canal that feeds into our swale system. Then I have some large rocks here to get the water <coughs> more towards me and less towards the area where the canal is. Here is a natural boulder so the water now goes away from me again and then I don't want it to go too close to the canal again. Huge, huge boulder we've placed there. The water comes towards me again. This will be finalized. Either the log must move over there and we will put some more sand in some proper bags and have some weirs here as well. Then a lot of boulders in here and then some organic material as well. I'm here in the creek, much lower, two meters lower than this culvert. Water comes down here, <coughs> rushing under this old trees. In the meantime, we have learned that this is somehow inlets for water into our canal system. Uh, that's another video. I have some very exciting news about all of this. So the water runs through here. This is the uh, big cork tree that holds this canopy together here. Lots of bird nests in here. And uh, this was the old sluice gate that somebody used to raise the level of the water to fill this canal system. Here we have built some protection. We don't want the water to come over here. And then the water goes down this creek. The initial structures we have built more with concrete and now it turns much more organic we hope they will do their job and disintegrate eventually and just be filled with sediment this is lots of logs from a fallen cork oak and then the water runs through there the cork oak 
oak floats very easily it's not so heavy uh, we did anchor it a few places but it might land up there behind those rocks I'm now on the other side of the creek and other side of the rocks here we have built a huge gabion but to demonstrate the force of the water it moved it about half a meter downstream but it's still sitting there I'm happy and then we have a lot of sediment and then many more logs they were placed behind that oleander and then a little bit stuck into this keyed into this wall and then a log on top to keep it down that one was built last year and it's already obvious how much debris it did collect how solid it gets um, the outlet then the water went to the left and we did place these logs here to prevent this massive flow of water this side all this was collected during the last rainy season then as the water comes down here these are some oak logs on top of a stone leaky weir and also neatly keyed into this wall side this is where the sheep used to pass through and then simultaneously on the other side and it's also neatly a uh, placed an oleander to hold it back further down some more stone weirs we will stack more rocks here there are three of them and uh, these weirs have a lot of pros it slows down the water it builds up the level of the creek it spreads the water and uh, but also it asks for maintenance the higher part coming down this area here keeps the water the longest of this whole creek because it looks like it gets some water underground from the canal system and uh, then some huge logs because there is a natural boulder there that moves all the water to the left and hopefully this will slow down the water on the left and then another boulder stone construction that we will rehabilitate very soon so here we have a nice bend in the river I like that if we can have more S shapes more serpent like movements this was a gabion that we built here that was almost 1 meter 20 and now it's full of sand brilliant and then there was my original earthen dam walls that I built twice and twice it was taken away by the rain now it's full of debris and it will slow down the water a lot we have placed a lot of biomass here organic material and then there are a few logs there here we are in an experimental phase 
I would like to get the water to the left and to the right so that's why the boulder is here and those call them sticks over there and then we have a kind of pond here and um, I am sure it will be washed away although I am working on a few ideas there is there are lots of rocks on that side steel post and then some poles and then uh, about two meter wide earth it's very convenient to use this for the wheelbarrows and the excavator and just nice to walk here and uh, I have a few plans let's see what I can do because I'm running out of time I'm still not finished with the distribution pond but I'm already thinking about this one some more branches here the water water already runs quite wide actually from that area over there to that area over there which is great and then some water comes through here and then I've created a new outlet here which is frowned upon by the neighbors maybe rightly so and here it leaves the land which must get a proper structure right now this is more to keep the dogs in than to keep the water in and then it goes through the drift there the lower area cemented out to the neighbors will be nice to have some more forts to control the water I mean at least there's some uh, concrete on that side inside this country road water runs over here quite wide which I'm happy about I'm collecting some more poles to see what they, how they can assist me in my pacifying the water system getting the water to go wide and slow we have planted lots of herbs on the banks of this creek I hope they will regrow they usually re-sprout from their roots we have planted many many things which I believe are all dead but uh, like willows and reeds and berries we are learning we're happy things are changing this is our third season and we hope in two years we will start seeing some results we will be patient till next time let us know your advice from the community very intelligent people we have we're happy to hear your comments Goodbye.